Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be this look. It has been a highly requested look lately to do something with like glitter, something more blue toned and um, kind of a little festive, I guess, for the holidays. And so I came up with this look. It's like a really light, like sky blue, aqua blue, glittery uh, eye look. And it's more like a soft look. I wanted to do something softer. Uh, this is also a collab with Tanya Waller. If you um, don't follow her yet, she's really popular on Instagram. Um, she also now does YouTube videos, and her videos are absolutely fabulous, amazing, high quality, and she's just amazing at what she does. I've been following her for a while now, and I just recently, well, in the last, like, a couple months back, I found out she was following me too. Whole fangirl thing happened. So this video is gonna be, like I said, a collaboration with her. So please go check out her video. Um, she's doing a look a little different than mine, but still kind of the same winter wonderland kind of theme. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna do today. I hope you guys enjoy our videos. Please go check her out after you watch my video. And yeah, stay tuned to see how to get this nice, soft, uh, sky blue glittery look. As always, I am going to start off by priming my eyes and I used our MAC 24 hour prep and prime eye base. Next I am taking Vapor from MAC which is a gorgeous light white color that has a little bit of a bluish tint to it I find. So I'm using that as my highlight on a MAC 217. Then I'm going to take Aqua from MAC which is available at all MAC stores now. And using the same 217, I'm going to blend this in my crease. With this kind of color, you definitely want to build it up because it's a soft pastel. So I did go over it several times uh, just to layer it up and make sure it was nice and opaque. After that, I'm going to take the Pure White Chroma Line. And you can find this at Mac Pro or if you go on the website if you're not near a pro store. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid so I have a nice light base for everything on top to go on. And then we're going to take Darling from Sugar Pill, one of their loose eyeshadows. And using that same, again, that 217 brush, I'm going to pack that on the outer corner and blend it a little bit into the crease about halfway across. I'm not doing a wing with this. I'm just kind of following the natural shape of my outer lid and crease area. I also want to say if you don't have that um, MAC Pro base or if you don't really feel like buying for MAC Pro or it's too expensive for you, something like the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk is perfectly fine. Then we're going to take MAC Mixing Medium Eyeliner and MAC's 3D Pale Mint Glitter. This is such a gorgeous, light, minty, aqua colored 3D glitter. It's stunning and very unique, so I highly recommend that. So I'm using just a little concealer brush and first patting on a thin layer of that mixing medium and then taking the same brush, which is sticky, so it's going to grab the glitter really well and press the glitter on top. And I like to go in a couple layers to make sure it's nice and opaque and I sort of dab around the edges to make sure it fades into the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take the um, Reflex Pearl Glitter from MAC and I'm going to put that on the inner corner as well as over top of the 3D Mint just because I felt like in person the 3D Mint was a little darker than the rest of the eyeshadow I had going on so I wanted it to be nice and light and bright. Afterwards, we're going to take Peacock from Makeup Geek, and this is a gorgeous, sorry about that, it's a gorgeous um, matte, kind of tealy, greeny blue color, more on the blue side than the green side. And we're just going to pack that on the outer corner again with this same exact eyeshadow brush. And excuse me for being out of frame a little bit on this lower lash line stuff, but I'm just putting Darling from Sugar Pill all the way across with a MAC 217 brush and then taking Peacock just on the outer part of the uh, lower lash line and then doing that pearl glitter right in the inner corner as well. For liner on my waterline, I took So There Jade from MAC Cosmetics. I did this because I, um, I didn't want the waterline to be too dark, so I went in with just sort of a similar uh, aqua kind of shade. Next, I'm taking Privet Fluid Line Liner from MAC. This is a new liquid eyeliner that MAC has come out with. And I'm just going to create a nice wing. Uh, the wing was a little long, but it wasn't too thick. I made it nice and thin, so it's a little softer. Afterwards, I'm taking Esquito Mink Eyelashes. And this is the style Unforgettable, one of my favorites. And I'm using the Esquito Companion Lash Glue as well. 
But first, before I put those on, I always put on a coat of mascara. This is the MAC In Extreme Dimension Mascara. And I'm using this first because when you're using mink lashes, you want to put mascara on first so you don't get a lot of mascara on the mink eyelashes. And that way they stay um, nicer a lot longer and they last longer for you. So using tweezers, I just like to press those down first on the outer corner and then tuck in the inner corner. And then press all the way along the band. As always, you guys have seen me do that a million times. And then I'm just finishing off with some mascara on the lower lashes as well. I felt like my eyebrows could have been a little cleaner. They were not uh, playing nice this day when I recorded this video. I didn't like the way they looked. So I'm just taking a little Anastasia concealer in the shade 1.5 and using that to just sharpen up the bottom a little bit. I find sometimes when I put my eyebrows on before my um, face makeup and everything like that, my eyebrows tend not to look as neat. So I do recommend doing your eyebrows after your face makeup if you haven't tried that before because I think it works really well. Next I'm going to be taking the MAC Prolong Wear Waterproof Foundation in the color NC35 all over my face and blending it in with a Real Techniques sponge. Again, please excuse this uh, mirror I'm using. Apparently I forgot I was recording a video and um, I kept getting it in the way. I'm sorry about that. And then I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in the color Fair number two and just applying a little bit of that under my eyes from the tube and then I go back in with my finger to sort of smooth that out and make sure it's a nice even layer and then one more time I go in with the Real Technique sponge to make sure it's really blended in and you can also take whatever is left on your sponge like I did and sort of just go around your nose if you have any redness or on your chin to add a little brightness there as well just to make sure that your whole face is kind of balanced with your brightness. Afterwards, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder with that same sponge and using that sponge to press it not only under my eyes but all over my face as a setting powder. And I just used the sponge. I didn't use a powder brush to blend that in because I like how the sponge, the kind of moist sponge, it applies the powder so nicely and makes it nice and thin kind of blended in layer. Afterwards, I'm taking Los Cabos uh, Bronzer from Sephora. I love this color. Even though it may not look like it right here, it is a very soft bronzer that's very neutral. Um, so I find for someone who maybe doesn't like too much of a heavy bronzer look, this would be an absolute perfect bronzer for you. It is amazing. It's gorgeous. Then I'm going to be taking this Inglot eyeshadow and it is the AMC Shine number 24. And this is sort of a kind of uh, translucent light shimmery teal green kind of color and I thought it just kind of looked cool to go along with the eyes and to finish off the look I'm taking Boldly Bear Liner from MAC and very very lightly putting this on I just want a nice soft light peachy lip color and then I'm going to after I have that sort of laid on the outline and then filled in a little bit I go back in with my foundation sponge and kind of just bounce it on top um, to make sure that the lip isn't like too intense because obviously the eyes are very intense so I wanted the lips to be very soft. So once I did that I just went over that with this light pink gloss. It's the lightest pink gloss in the new nude lip gloss set from MAC for our holiday collection. And this is the lightest cream sheen color. It's a limited edition so you probably wouldn't have it yet but it's beautiful. So that is the finished look guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. and. Thank you for subscribing. Please go check out Tanya. She's amazing. You'll love her style. And I'll see you next time. Bye.